Essential Dental Systems presents Access Post Overdenture, the only patented overdenture attachment system that utilizes the thick walled hollow tube design. Access Post Overdenture Characteristics. The ball and socket attachment allows rotation of the nylon cap, assuring parallelism in the final restoration. The thick walled hollow tube design provides the strength of a solid shank post. Vents hydrostatic pressure of cementation for easier post placement and a more secure cement interface. Guides retreatment drills for safe post removal and access to the root canal without widening the root canal. The undercuts of the shank lock in post cement to provide high retention. The multiple tiers provide greater stability of the post and dissipate forces of occlusion. Adapts to the anatomical flare of the canal for optimum dentin to metal contact and maximum stability. The stabilizing flange provides greater stability and coronal support by distributing destabilizing stresses over a large surface area, reducing stress concentrations at any one point. Solidifying the entire restoration against micro-movement and decementation. The standard nylon cap provides three to five pounds of retention. The system allows for the incorporation of the patented easy change attachment, providing four to six pounds of retention. Allows for quick and easy nylon cap replacement when worn. This cap insert may be easily removed, requiring only seconds for replacement, thereby considerably shortening chair time. Access post overdenture direct non-coping technique. Post selection is best done by placing a post in a hemostat and holding it over an undistorted x-ray. If there is a minimum of 0.5 lateral root structure at the most apical placement of the post, there is sufficient root structure for placement. Once the appropriate size post has been selected, the matching EDS Gates Glidden Drill or Piezo Reamer is used to remove the gutta percha from the canal. For matching size selection of drills and posts, see the illustrated chart in the instruction booklet. A rubber stop is used to maintain the proper depth of the post hole preparation, all EDS Gates Glidden drills are color coded to match both reamer and post sizes. When 100% of the post hole depth and 90% of the width have been achieved with the Gates Glidden drills, the primary reamer is inserted into the canal until the shoulder contacts the coronal dentin. It is best to limit the number of entries into the canal to once or twice and to always cut wet. The direct procedure countersink root facer drill is used next to create the spaces for the second tier and flange of the access post overdenture. Within moments, you will have machined the perfect seat for the access post overdenture. It is important to note that the countersink root facer is not self-limiting and can be used to further deepen the dual preparations if needed to provide more clearance for the overdenture post and cap. Please observe the well-defined countersink and root-faced preparations. The access post overdenture is now trial seated. It is important to note if the flange of the post is not fully seated within its preparation, the post must be cut. Shorten the post apically to allow full seating of the flange. Use a fissure burr or diamond to shorten the post. The grooving drill is inserted into the canal and then pushed against the canal wall and rotated in a circumferential manner. The drill will create mechanical retention grooves in the canal wall for the cement. This will greatly increase the overall retention of the post. The canal is now washed with water and air dried to remove any dentinal debris. Patented FlexiFlow or FlexiFlow Natural in shade Vita A3 fluoride releasing composite resin cement is now mixed and placed into the canal with the Lenchulo spiral. The Lenchulo will deliver the cement to the bottom of the post hole. In addition, coat the shank of the post to assure a complete cement interface. FlexiFlow cement gives the dentist approximately three and a half minutes of working time to place the post. The access post overdenture is coated with cement and placed in the canal. Fully seat the post within the countersink preparation. The access post overdenture's thick-walled hollow tube releases hydrostatic pressure, allowing for placement of the post with virtually no stress or strain to the root. Incorporation of the nylon attachment cap. It is important to first place the rubber band on the head of the post. If the rubber band is not in place, there is a risk that the cold-cured acrylic could lock in under the coronal ball of the post head, making the denture difficult to remove. The nylon cap is now placed on the ball of the post. As an added feature, we will continue to show this procedure with the new Easy Change Keeper and Cap Insert System, which may be purchased separately. The Easy Change is a patented metal keeper and nylon cap insert system, which allows for quick and easy cap insert replacement when worn. It requires only seconds to replace at chair side. 
Place the easy change keeper containing the cap insert on the head of the access post over denture post. Mark the easy change keeper with marking paste or spray. Place the denture over the ridge and remove. The marker tells you where to relieve the acrylic in the denture. Repeat this procedure until the denture fits passively over the keeper. Place pink cold cured acrylic into the relieved portion of the denture and place over the ridge and let set. Make sure the rubber band is covering the height of contour of the head. If not, there is a risk that the cold cured acrylic could lock in under the head, making removal of the denture difficult. The rubber band is now discarded and the flash trimmed. The overdenture is now ready for use. Replacement of worn cap insert. The Easy Change insert cap may be replaced by inserting the two pronged Easy Change wrench into the worn cap insert and unthreading it. Replace by threading in a new cap insert. This procedure is completed in seconds. The access post overdenture may be used in the indirect coping technique as well as the previously described direct non-coping technique. The following segment will demonstrate the indirect coping technique. Follow the same procedure for the post hole preparation as the direct technique until use of the primary reamer is completed. The secondary drill is used in the indirect technique to create the second tier preparation in the coronal post hole preparation. When completing the indirect coping technique, an approximate 0.25 millimeter space is needed between the flange of the post and the coronal tooth structure to allow for coping placement. To achieve proper post seating, place the post into the prepared post hole shortening the apical end if necessary to ensure a full seat. Replace the post with a corresponding size brass transfer stud. By design, an approximate 0.25 millimeter space will occur by placing the stud in the prepared post hole as a result of a 0.25 millimeter space between the flange of the stud and prepared post hole. Therefore, it is important to use the correct corresponding brass transfer stud. After achieving proper post seating, take an impression of the stud in the preparation. Remove the impression with the brass transfer stud and temporarily seal the canal. Send the impression with the corresponding sized brass transfer stud to a dental laboratory. The laboratory pours the impression in stone and then waxes up and casts the coping to accommodate the access post over denture post. When the coping is returned from the laboratory, it is trial seated and while still in place, the access post over denture is also trial seated. A grooving drill is inserted into the canal and then pushed against the canal wall and rotated in a circumferential manner. The drill will create retention grooves in the canal wall for the cement. This will greatly increase the overall retention of the post. Patented FlexiFlow or FlexiFlow Natural fluoride releasing composite resin cement is placed in the canal with the lentulo spiral. Additional cement is placed onto the coping and the coping is seated into place. Before the cement has set, coat the shank of the post and fully seat the access post overdenture. Post insertion is completed when the flange is fully seated within the coping. The excess cement is removed and you are now ready to insert the nylon cap or easy change attachment as previously described. The access post overdenture is the only overdenture post that allows you to retreat a recurring apical infection. The post is hollow to act as a guide for retreatment drills, allowing you to easily remove the post without perforation or widening of the canal. If you know the size of the post in the canal, follow the graph enclosed in the retreatment kit's instructions, providing the sequence of drills to use for your post removal. If you do not know the size of the post, assume you have the thinnest post placed and are therefore going to use the thinnest retreatment drill for the number one post. Place the first retreatment drill in the slow speed handpiece. Place a rubber stop on the shaft of the drill at a distance from the tip of the drill equal to the total length of the post. Slowly let the drill enter the opening of the post. Advance the drill until the rubber stop on the drill lines up with the remaining occlusal portion of the post. In this case, we have the full length of the post in the root. If not, adjust the rubber stop on the drill to the proper length. To minimize the possibility of the drill catching in the post, drill in small up and down motions and advance the drill in small increments. The objective of retreatment is to remove the old access post overdenture entirely. Note that sometimes during drilling, the second or third drill will bind within the post. If there is enough torque, the cement seal will break and the post will loosen, allowing for removal. Also, during the course of drilling, the post may loosen but not come out. In this case, disengage the drill from the handpiece and rotate the post by hand. This will remove the cement from the post undercuts and allow for post removal with the hemostat. You are now free to proceed with endodontic retreatment.
Flexi Post, the patented split shank post, is ideal where adequate coronal dentin exists. Maximum retention with minimal insertional stress. Flexi Flange offers the patented split shank flexi post while incorporating a flange to provide stability in situations of inadequate coronal dentin and excessive occlusal forces anterior and posterior. Flexi Overdenture, a patented split shank post with a ball and socket attachment that delivers the highest retention for full and partial dentures. Access Post Overdenture. Based on a unique thick-walled hollow tube design, the patented access post overdenture system provides the benefit of a ball and socket attachment on a passive post with the added insurance of retreatability. Easy Change. The patented keeper and cap insert system for the flexi overdenture or access post overdenture post systems. The Easy Change metal keeper is permanently cold cured into the denture to hold the threaded nylon cap insert. When worn, the cap insert is easily replaced in seconds. Access Post. Based on a unique thick-walled hollow tube design, the patented Access Post system is a parallel-sided, triple-tiered, passive post. Exacticast. A patented triple-tiered post system that offers a standardized way to achieve reliable, predictable cast posts. Accuset. A dual-cured acrylic resin for creating and repairing temporary crowns, inlays, and onlays. FlexiFlow, a patented reinforced fluoridated composite resin cement with strength similar to dentin for superior retention. Available in gray color or FlexiFlow Natural in shade Vita A3. Tycor, a patented reinforced fluoridated core material. Cuts like dentin, no grooving or ditching. Available in gray color or Tycor Natural in shade Vita A3. Essential Gates Glid and Drills. Conveniently color-coded to match all of Essential Dental System's primary reamers. Glove and Care. A specially formulated hypoallergenic hand cream for the care and relief of dry, irritated hands caused by wearing latex gloves.